We're not just going to shoot the bastards. We're going to cut out their living guts and use them to grease the treads of our tanks. Interesting facts about famous people. What's the best war movie of the 60s? The 1960s was full of excellent films that are still talked about today. Let me know which of these are the best war movies from the 60s. The 1960s was an incredible decade for films like Cleopatra, Fistful of Dollars and Dr. No. War films were no exception. With the 60s being only a couple of decades after World War II, there was enough hindsight and cinematic advancements to make more realistic and thoughtful films about war. Hollywood still had an idealism and patriotism that would be subdued later in the decade by the events of the Vietnam War. The 1960s is a unique era for the war film. Here are some of the best from that decade. If you like this video, hit that notification button and get my new videos as they come up. Take a look at my channel to see all my videos. The link is in the description. Apologies for any mispronunciation of names. Hell is for Heroes, 1962. Hell is for Heroes is about a unit of US soldiers who hold off an entire Nazi company for 48 hours until reinforcements can get to them. The film is directed by Don Siegel and stars Steve McQueen as Private John Reese. The film is a great black and white war film that keeps you on the edge of your seat. I'm going to give you that chance, mister. As soon as this is over, I'll square off you any time. King Rat, 1965. Corporal King, George Siegel, a prisoner in a Japanese POW camp during World War II. The film was adapted from James Clavell's novel, which was partially based on his own experiences as a prisoner at Changi Prison in Malaya during the war. King Rat was written and directed by Brian Forbes and is a real insight into the struggles of the Allied soldiers that were captured during this time. The Longest Day, 1962, an epic war film based on the invasion of Normandy on D-Day, with one of the largest international casts of all time, including Sean Connery, John Wayne and Henry Fonda. Directed by three separate directors, The Longest Day employed several military consultants who were there on June 6, 1944, which truly shows in the film's accurate depictions. The Longest Day was nominated for five Academy Awards and won two. The Heroes of Telemark, 1965, set in German-occupied Norway. This is an embellished account of the remarkable efforts of the Norwegian resistance to sabotage the German development of the atomic bomb. Resistance fighter Knut Strad, Richard Harris, enlists the reluctant physicist Dr. Ralph Pedersen, Kirk Douglas, in an effort to destroy the German heavy water production plant near the village of Rutschgen in rural Telemark. In the process, Pedersen discovers that his ex-wife, Anna, Bula Jacobson, and her uncle, Sir Michael Redgrave, have also joined the resistance. British commandos dispatched to destroy the plant are killed when their glider hits the mountainside at night. Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, 1964, a black comedy about the Cold War. The film satires the fear of nuclear fallout between the Soviet Union and the United States, the as a rogue US Air Force general orders the first nuclear well, strike on the Soviet Union. Uh, Peter Sellers is hilarious in three roles. Group he Captain Lionel Mandrake, sort of, well, US President Merkel Muffley, and Dr. Strangelove. You know, Dr. Strangelove is not only considered one of the greatest comedies and, uh, of all time, but is also considered one of the greatest films thing. of all time. Well, I'll tell you what he did, The Dirty Dozen, 1967. Inspired by real-life World War II demolition specialists named the Filthy 13, whose job it was to go behind Very enemy lines journal. and destroy Axis targets. In the Dirty Dozen, Major John Reisman, Lee Marvin, is tasked with taking 12 of the Army's worst prisoners and training them for a suicide mission to destroy a Nazi target right before D-Day. The film was a box office success when it was released and has an incredible cast of characters, including Charles Bronson, Donald Sutherland and Telly Savalas. The Great Escape, 1963, one of the best World War II films ever made. Although heavily fiction, 
It is based on the mass escape of British POWs from the German POW camp Stalag Luft III. The Great Escape features a long list of stars, including Steve McQueen, Richard Attenborough, Charles Bronson and James Garner. The Great Escape was one of the highest grossing films of 1963 and is credited with having one of the best stunts ever performed. The Guns of Navarone, 1961. In 1943, the British Navy was not able to rescue 2,000 soldiers trapped in the island of Keros as two German cannons on the top of the Navarone island were sinking Allied vessels. After a failed aerial attack, the Allied command decided to send a team disguised as fishermen. The Allied command decided to send a team disguised as fishermen to Navarone to destroy the guns. The group is commanded by Major Roy Franklin and composed by Captain Keith Mallory, an experienced mountain climber, and his former partner, Colonel Andre Stavros, the explosive expert, Captain John Anthony Miller, the engineer, CPO Butcher Brown, and a Greek assassin, Spiros Papademos, born in Navarone. They sail during the night, and after an encounter with a German patrol boat and a storm at sea, they arrive at Navarone. Captain Mallory needs to climb a cliff face during a heavy rainy night to proceed with their mission. Will they succeed? Give up quietly, gentlemen. Battle of the Bulge, 1965. In the winter of 1944, the Allied army stood ready to invade Germany at the coming of a new year. To prevent this, Hitler ordered an all-out offensive to take French territory and capture the major port of Antwerp. The Battle of the Bulge shows this conflict from the perspective of an American intelligence officer as well as from a German panzer commander. Where Eagles Dare, 1968. World War II. A British aircraft is shot down and crashes in Nazi-held territory. The Germans capture the only survivor, American Brigadier General George Carnaby, Robert Beatty, and take him to the nearest SS headquarters. Unknown to the Germans, the General has full knowledge of the D-Day operation. The British decide that the General must not be allowed to divulge any details of the Normandy landing at all costs, and order Major Jonathan Smith, Richard Burton, to lead a crack commando team to rescue him. Amongst the team is an American Ranger, Lieutenant Morris Schaefer, Clint Eastwood, who is puzzled by his inclusion in an all-British operation. When one of the team dies after the parachute drop, Schaefer suspects that Smith's mission has a much more secret objective. I hope you like this video. If so, make sure you hit the notification button to see my new videos as they come up. Take a look at my channel to see all my other videos. The link is in the description. Also take a look at my Facebook page as well. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Bye for now. See you again soon. Please take time to take a look at my Facebook page for new information.